Hey craft lovers and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm using my Cricut Maker and I am making some earrings. Um, I don't know about you, but I am allergic to nickel. So I am very specific on what earrings I put in my ear because if I put something with nickel or costume jewelry, it breaks out. So I figured since I have this maker, I should be making me some earrings. So since Halloween is right around the corner, I am going to be doing some Halloween themed earrings. So if you want to learn how, keep watching. So these are the materials you would need for this DIY project. I have some Fuchs leather. I have two different tones. This is like a metallic brown and this is more so metallic like a gold. Um, as you can see, it was $8.99 and, and then it had it at $3.47, but I used additional savings and I was able to get this for less the price. Um, if you want to learn how, remember, I have my ebook available on my website, iufavors.com. Get the ebook and learn my tricks and strategies I do to save some coins. You will also need some ear wires. I got these from Joann's. I think they were like four and change, but I was able to get a discount on these. I got this from Michael's and it was priced at $38, but you know, I ain't paying no $38. So I was able to get this for a uh, 60% off. And the girl tried to tell me that I could only use one. So you know what I did? Oops, you wanna know? You gotta get the ebook. So yeah, these are the materials you will need. I will also be using some HTV vinyl on my earrings. And so I'll, that means I will be using my Cricut Mini Easy Press. I will be cutting these on my Cricut Maker. So keep watching, guys. Hey, craft lovers. So I am in design space. Um, and today we're going to be working on earrings. So we have a pumpkin. We have a witch and bat, which I'm going to be pressing on HTV vinyl on. We have some little loop earrings where it's going to be a double layer. And we have one that I'm going to do a design on this one right here. So I'm going to move this over and I am going to put some little lines on it. So let's get started. So I decided to change the color of the earrings. This back, this back end is like the gold. This is for the brown metallic. I'm gonna keep these orange, but these is going to change to the gold. This is gonna be the brown metallic instead of me putting lines through them. And the witch and the bat it's going to stay the same with the HTV added on to it. Keep watching. I'm about to speed up the video right now. Hey guys, so the machine finished cutting out the earrings. Um, it finished cutting out the HTV black vinyl. I'm about to use my Cricut Mini Easy Press and I'm gonna press these on here. I am gonna speed up the video for this part, but as I connect my earrings using the tools I have, I am going to put it back in regular speed so you guys can see step by step how do I assemble it. So keep going. Just finish weeding out the HTV for the witches and the bat. I'm gonna press on the witches first and then I'm gonna press on the bat 
with the Cricut Mini Easy Press. So let's do that now. I'm not going to speed up the video because I want you guys to see step by step. So I am going to get some parchment paper. I'm going to put it like this. Let me get my Easy Press. I have it on the first one. I don't know if the light is bright, but yeah, I have it on the first one. And I am going to press it down. And I'm going to leave it for a couple of seconds on one side and I'm going to work my way to the other side. And this Fuchs leather is like they have it under the material as like paper thin. It is really thin. So you, I don't think you need that many that many minutes to have it on here to make to guarantee that it stays. So I'm just moving in it left and right. I'm gonna let that one cool off. Let me put it toward the light so you guys can see it. Focus, there we go. So you guys can see it's pressed on. We're gonna do the bat next, but I'm gonna let this cool off. Now we're gonna work with this one. Let me just make sure this is lined up. All right, now that that's lined up, I am going to get the mini, mighty but mini, or should I say mini but mighty, and again, I'm just going to move it left and right, back and forth. Gonna put it on for a few more seconds and make sure. All right, I'm gonna let this one cool off and put it to the side. This one should be cooled off by now. I am going to peel it off. I'm gonna start from the top. I'm peeling it off slow because again the Fuchs leather leather is like paper thin and I don't want it to rip and guys that's how it looks once it's ironed on it looks super cool so as you can see this hole was placed in it it was cut from the Cricut maker but if you don't want to you want to use the leather hole puncher you can use that but for this one I don't need to put a hole in it because it's in it already so I'm gonna set the bat up so I can iron that on next Let's see, I think it's this one. Yeah, this one went perfect. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna iron on the bat and then I'm gonna switch it. And just leave here, press firmly down and I'm gonna leave this down here for a few seconds. Alright, I'm going to let 
that cool off now and I'm gonna peel off this one again start from the top you want to go slow and peeling it slowly off And I'm gonna put the bat on. And again, I'm gonna press firmly down for a few seconds. Firmly down, firmly. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna take it off now. I'm gonna put this to the side and I am going to peel off this one. It should be cooled off by now. It is. And that is it. I'm just gonna put it under here one last time and I'm gonna use the Cricut Mini and just do it all around. 10 seconds tops. To ensure that it stays on, I am going to peel this one off now. Again, I'm going to put this under the parchment paper and for 10 seconds, I'm just gonna apply heat all around it. So I'm doing it in a circular motion. All right, so that is done. So it goes on your ear. I'm going to now do start applying the ear wires. So keep watching. Now we're going to start assembling the earring. So I'm going to crack this open. And I'm gonna take out six. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, on the eight. Count it wrong. Now that we have the eight out, I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna get some little pliers because we need pliers. So guys, all this time I thought I was recording as I just put these hooks on. So I'm gonna do it one more time. <laughs> and so you guys can see. So what I did is I held this ball down with my nail I made sure these, the pointy part was directly on the opening part and I just moved it over a little bit. I put the material in the inside of the opening that we just made. You just want to make sure you, it's inside of it. And then you want to close it. So what I do is I put the this tip of it right on top and I close it right back and that is it I'll do it again 
I'm gonna open it up. You're gonna use the tip of the pliers. Hold my nail down. Hold my hold the ball down with my nail. You want to make sure that the material goes in forward, so when it closes, it, you guys can see that actual metallic look rather than the back of this like this. And you want to clamp it down. You're gonna move the ball. And that is it. All right, so now I'm gonna speed up the video so you guys can see it in fast motion. And that is it, guys. So we have our witch and bat earrings. We have our pumpkin earrings. We have our open oval, or should I say raindrop earrings. And then we have the double oval um, raindrop earrings. And again, craft lovers, we have finished another project. Remember to like, comment, share, hit that bell notification. But of course, subscribe.